and that brings us to the importance of exercise. The heart is a muscle and strength comes by exercise. There is no other way. And your heart can get stronger and stronger. Your heartbeat can get less and less the more that you exercise. And the, bo the book Body by Science by Dr. Doug McGuff, he analysed the high intensity interval training. And he did this for his heart patients. And he first started on himself and he did a high intensity of 30 seconds and then he did a recovery time of 90 seconds and he did this for a cycle of six. Okay, have you done the maths on that yet? We'll be generous. That's 15 minutes a day. If you don't have time to exercise, it's time for you to analyse what you do with your time. You actually don't have time not to. This is the best insurance policy that you can make. And it doesn't take long. The high intensity is pushing yourself hard. It, most is on an exercise bike, it's going running for your life. And then the recovery time is slowly cycling. It can be on the rebounder. My son was, was jogging on the rebounder at my house. He's put a dent in my wooden floor. <laughs> it could be push-ups. I found stairs where I'm staying, running up and down the stairs. <laughs> I found a pool and I was hoping I, uh, it doesn't open till 8 o'clock. I'm long gone by 8 o'clock. You just got to find out. It could be swimming, it could be push-ups, it could be any, anything that gets the heart rate up and the respiration increased, yes? That's why the exercise bike is good, especially for elderly people, because they're holding on. The rebound is good and you can get a, a handle for your rebounder. A lot of people are scared if they push themselves hard like that, they might have a heart attack. No one's ever had a heart attack doing the high intensity interval training. But there are many who have keeled over and had heart attacks. What happened? Here it is. So I just fixed myself up again. But there are many stories of people having heart attacks on 5K jogs. See, when they're on 5K jogs, their body's not getting that rest. And that rest is vital. It's not an excuse because you can't go any longer. It's an important part of the high intensity interval training. Intervals of high intensity recovery. This evening, when I look at weight loss, I'm going to go inside the cell and show you in detail why this is such a powerful form of exercise. This strengthens the heart. So the 5K jog, some people have said, Barbara, I don't have an hour to do a 5K jog a day. I said, the good news, you don't have to have an hour. All you have to have is 15 minutes. And what I have found is if you don't make an appointment with exercise, you do not do it. The more you exercise, the stronger your heart will get. Our exercise coordinator's name is Howard. He's just turned 60, or about to turn 60, and all the guests think he's 40. He's incredibly fit. He exercises intensely. His resting heart rate sits at about 48 beats per minute. <laughs> I don't think Howard's ever going to get old. <laughs> he's an incredible example that Muscle knows no age. Whether you're 9 or 90, you can be strong. So you just got to find out where and how you fit that in. Because to conquer heart disease, to strengthen the heart, to strengthen the arterial walls, to move that blood more efficiently and effectively through the whole body, exercise is not negotiable. It is a must. Now, if you can't do 30 seconds high intensity, just do what you can. In his book, uh, 
PACE, Al, Dr. Al Sears, he's called the exercise doctor. PACE means progressive acceleration of cardiopulmonary exertion. Progressive, this is progressive. What you can't do now, you will be able to do the more you do it. He gives the story of a lady who did seven seconds high intensity and she needed 15 minutes to recover. Not everyone's that unfit. But if that's your story, the good news is it won't take 15 minutes tomorrow. Tomorrow you might get eight seconds and have 10 minutes recovery. This is progressive. That's why his the pace means progressive acceleration. You are moving. You are moving fast. Cardiopulmonary strengthens the heart, strengthens the lung. Exertion, you are exerting yourself big time. And it's like anything in life, the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. And the story I told in my last presentation of, of Jim, who was sent home basically and they could do no more for him and conquered his diabetes, he also conquered his blood pressure, he got off all his medication and he did the high intensity <coughs> interval training every day. You don't necessarily have to do what he did, he did everything to the extreme. He did 6K or 6 mile cycle every day. And the beauty of the cycle is every now and then there's a hill, there's your high intensity. Ah, cruising down the hill, there's your, there's your recovery <coughs> time. And the research shows that if in recovery time you are moving slowly, that's the best. If you totally stop, it's not as effective. Your recovery time is your indicator of fitness. So note your recovery time because the fitter you get, the less time you will take to recover. I was watching a documentary on one of the long flights from Australia once and the documentary was on 100-year-old athletes. Got that? 100-year-old athletes. <laughs> so age is no barrier and it should not be a barrier. Don't let it be a barrier. I wouldn't be surprised if Howard's still our exercise coordinator at the age of 80. <laughs> so please, as the proverb says in Proverbs 4.23, keep the heart with all diligence because out of it other issues of life. And God meant us to have a very happy, very healthy life. Life is to be enjoyed. And I think all of those around my age, I think you'll agree with me, grandchildren are wonderful. So let's keep fit so we can play with them. <laughs> so we can cycle with them. So we can scooter with them. So we can climb mountains with them. And so we can be testimonies to them of what a difference these principles are to our life and how they definitely will sustain me. One lady said, it sounds a bit selfish to sustain me. I said, oh no, if I don't sustain me, I can't help anyone to sustain them. Let's, let's close with a word of prayer. Father, thank you so much for how simple these principles are. Thank you for our heart. Thank you for showing us how we can strengthen it, how we can he clear these blood vessels, how we can actually have a healthier and happier life. Thank you that it is so simple. And we thank you this afternoon. No, it's actually still this morning. In the name of Jesus. Amen.